have you with us on this Tuesday edition, Ed Schultz News and Commentary from the North Country. Settling down this week, I'll be back on the road next week. The story that's developing and has been for one, two, three, four weeks is that Joe Biden's going to run for president. I have a message for Joe. Personally, Joe, will you do me a favor and just stay home? I do not want Joe Biden running for president for a number of different reasons. And yesterday, it, it, reached, it reached a fever pitch with me. Uh, first of all, the Clinton campaign and the Sanders campaign, these people working to turn this country around for the better. They have been out working on these campaigns for months on end, and now Joe Biden is going to ride in on his white horse and say, hey, I think I should be president. You know, respecting the process, I think, is a big thing. Now, understand that Joe Biden obviously has had some personal tragedy, but this isn't about a family or a personal tragedy. This is about the country and the process. And the fact is, is that Joe Biden jumping in right now doesn't do the Democrats any favor whatsoever when it comes to having an advantage to win the White House. So let's look at where Biden is right now. Biden apparently has been making a lot of phone calls trying to figure out if he can gin up enough cash to make a run at this. Maybe he can. Yesterday, he kind of cozied up to Wall Street. Everybody has this theory that they have to get along with Wall Street if they're going to be president of the United States, of course, except Bernie Sanders. The fact is, is that Yesterday, speaking to the International Firefighters Association, who is now saying that if Biden jumps in, they might support him. I don't know where that's coming from. He comes out and he says that he's not one of these guys who thinks that Wall Street's the bad guys. Well, Joe, that's not where the progressive movement is in this country. Wall Street is at the root of our problems when it comes to owning the Senate, writing the laws, allowing this corporate garbage to take place. And also with our campaign finance situation and what we're looking at right now. Wall Street is the root of the problem. First question for Joe Biden, do you think that Glass-Steagall should be reinstated? Do you think we should split up the commercial and investment banks and go back to some regulation so we don't have this casino gambling taking place with investments on Wall Street, playing with people's retirements and doing things behind the investor's back and possibly having another financial meltdown. I mean, that is the core of our issue right now in the progressive movement. The next thing is, he says that the Republicans are his friends. He made this comment in front of the firefighters yesterday. Daryl Issa, not a Republican friend of mine. He's a friend. Um, I, I don't consider Republicans enemies. They're friends. He doesn't consider the Republicans enemies. Is that a veiled shot at Hillary Clinton? Because Hillary Clinton said this in the debate the other night with a smile on her face, but she also knows what the Republicans are all about. Here it is. Franklin Delano Roosevelt once said, I ask you to judge me by the enemies I have made. You've all made a few people upset over your political careers. Which enemy are you most proud of? Well, in addition to the NRA, um, the health insurance companies, the drug companies, um, the Iranians, um, (laughs) probably the Republicans. which is the perfect answer. And Joe Biden, you should know that more than anybody. You're part of an administration that's been obstructed more than any other administration in the history of the country. The record number of filibusters, the party of no, over 50 votes in the House to get rid of health care. And you're calling Daryl Issa your friend? Dude, you need to wake up. And the best way to wake up is to say, I'm not going to run for president. The Republican Party is against the common good of the people. They think that any government involvement whatsoever is nothing but a torpedo to the American dream. It is not. Without government involvement, Joe, we wouldn't have had the stimulus package to turn this economy around. Without government involvement, we wouldn't be having 10 million more people with health insurance in this country. Without government involvement... We wouldn't have Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security, which are very popular programs. In fact, people in this country want to strengthen those programs. So, Joe Biden, I don't know what's gotten into you. And, of course, there's one more thing. You're pushing the worst trade deal in the history of the country. Joe Biden has been out supporting the Trans-Pacific Partnership, carrying Obama's water on this. You're going to reverse on that? 
Every single union in this country is against it, Joe. And Joe Biden has been seriously a big union supporter his entire career. The steelworkers and Joe Biden go back a long way. But the steelworkers are against this deal, Joe. And you're in favor of the Trans-Pacific Partnership. So the, the fact is, one issue after another issue after another issue, Joe Biden doesn't match up. He doesn't match up with the progressive movement the way he used to. These are new times and recognizing that when the Republicans have power, they know exactly what to do with it. When the Democrats have power, they always want to negotiate with everybody. I think the wake up call has come for Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. I think where there are some differences in those campaigns, they understand that the Republicans play for keeps and the Republicans aren't friendly to the working folk of America. Their union busting that they do, their depression of wages, their free market. Hell, they want to get rid of the minimum wage in this country. And Joe Biden, you're calling them your friends? They're not your friends. They're against the common good of the American people at this point. This is why they've got Donald Trump out in front of them right now, because they have no identity. The Republicans have an identity crisis right now. This is the perfect time for a Democrat to win the White House. And Joe Biden is stepping in saying, well, Wall Street's not the problem. Well, those guys over there who's obstructed us, you know, I don't know Daryl Issa, but, uh, you know, they're my friends. Stay home, Joe. Stay home.